morning. How are we today? It's bright and breezy Monday. Mm. I thought I'd go and check out that new supplier we talked about. I've just come in for the paperwork. It's a good idea. Oh, and I meant to ask, which hotel have you booked into for the wedding? Might be nice if I stayed in the same one. Oh, that's perfect. You could try, but they told me I got the last room. Really? Oh. Well, might still be worth a try. What was it called? Oh, uh... I'm sorry, the name escapes me now. It was the best in the area, you said. Oh, yes. Five-star luxury spa. Wow. <laughs> Not cheap, either. I don't know what your budget is. All right, well, maybe when you remember, you could tell me. Yeah, cool. Well, you could otherwise, get somewhere nearby. Yeah. Right. See you later. Bye, darling. Bye, Alia. Don't think she was cross with me. Cross with you? Why? For booking us into that hotel. No. We're disappointed she couldn't stay there, maybe. I just thought you deserved a treat after everything you've been through lately. It sounds lovely. I just hope it doesn't cause more arguments, me being there. I don't see any reason it should. Would you like me to have a word with her? Well, don't you think that'd irritate her? With my diplomatic skills? But you get what I'm saying, though. I mean, I do feel like an outsider sometimes, spectre at the feast and, you know. Well, if we're all on our best behaviour, there shouldn't be any problems. But, look, if the worst comes to the worst, mm. well, we don't even have to go, I suppose. You're the boss. You were up bright and early? You complaining? Far from it. You got Lily to school OK? Yeah, I crossed three busy roads and she didn't get knocked down once. Sorry. I'll forgive you. Got a lot on your mind. Talking of which, um, have you thought any more about what she said? Only all the time. Well, are you going to see her or talk to her? Mom, right now, I haven't got a clue, OK? OK. You know where I am if you need a sympathetic ear. Yeah, one toast. Mm. With full English. Nice and runny, these yorks, I hope, Roy. That is the default method of preparation in this establishment. Yeah, well, it won't the other day. That Nina, she cooked them that hard. You could have done a smash and grab with them down to Jewelers. Well, Nina is something of a work in progress, but eager to learn. Mm. Well, that was nice. You mind? Help yourself. Hmm. Permission from me, man. Actually, you could give us a bit of legal advice in exchange for that. Only you could capitalise on a piece of toast. Shona wants a divorce. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I'm not. Not anymore. Can't come soon enough. I just want to. Get it over with and get on with the rest of my life. If you say so. So how soon can we do it? How long have you been married? Uh, about five months, just about. Well, you need to have been married at least a year before you can divorce. What? Even if you both want it? Very tell. So, so I've got a wife who barely recognises me, and what, I have to wait another seven months? That's a lot. You okay? I, uh, I stayed at a meet since you asked. Alina's gone to work, if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry about yesterday. I was completely out of order with David. It's why you hit him that bothers me. Because he was winding me up. I'll tell him the truth. Which? Well, it's true that I don't like the thought of him mucking her about. She's been through a lot, and I don't want to see her get hurt. But that's all it is. Well, how long's that going to go on for? You being her protector. So I'll step back. You're the only woman that I want. I've been mucked about a lot by lads in the past. And I made a vow never to be anyone's consolation prize again. 
That's not how I see you. If I get one more inkling that you'd rather be with her... It won't happen. I swear. Oh. I'm off. How you want doing before I go? No, you're all right. Chez? It's your hospital. What do they want? Our dearie needs have come in. They can fit them tomorrow, finally. Oh, brilliant. That's going to make such a difference. You'll be able to hear my voice. And you'll not have to stress about him as much. Honestly, it'll be miles better. Do you reckon? Yeah, of course it will. So, can you look after the others while we take him in? Yeah, it goes without saying. And I'll ask Deb to change my shift. Right, have a good day, then. And you? Hmm. That's great news. Yeah. So what do you make of the new supplier? I think they're good. But? Well, you never really know until you've used them for a bit, do you? Hmm. They're all over here till they get the contract. That's when the cracks start to show. Well, what cracks are these? Alia's not sure about the new supplier. Why? What's wrong with them? I didn't say there was anything wrong. Because if they're rubbish, we should forget it. I didn't say they were rubbish, either. No, your idea, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know. Well, I don't see the problem with the ones we've got already, if I'm honest. Can you actually just listen for one minute? Sorry. I'm all ears. All I said was, you never really know what people are like until you get to know them. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, may I suggest that we give them a try without letting go of our existing suppliers? See how it goes for a couple of months and then decide whether to switch or not. That's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> Whether or not there'd be agreement to a suggestion from me. Oh, no, I think it's an excellent idea. And as we're going to a wedding soon, may I also suggest that we play nicely with each other? Um, I include myself in that. I'm very happy with that. Me too. I promise. Good. So uh, let's leave it to Alia, then. Fine with me. That was quick. Sorry. My dog was saying the carpet yesterday, I'm afraid. Then thanks a bunch. <laughs> You're not using a steam cleaner, then? Oh, yeah, we have all the latest state-of-the-art equipment. Oh, that's what I was told it needed. Look, no disrespect, but I've got the bar to clean after this and then the toilet, so if you don't mind, I need to get on. You're using an outside cleaner to do all that? Not from outside, I work here. Charles is making me pay for a professional carpet cleaner. Oh, there he is. I'm still not convinced Alia wants me at the wedding. Let's not start that again. Better we sort it now than traipse all the way to Spain and have her spoil everything. That won't happen. I don't think you realise the stress I'm under fretting about this because Zidane will blame me if it all kicks off, not his sister. I'll be public enemy number one. Oh, no. I'm sure that won't happen as long as we all behave like adults. Jeff? Uh. Are you OK? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just get a glass of water. Where's, where's the pain? <laughs> All across here, all across here. I'm calling an ambulance. No, 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 no. It's stress, it'll pass. I'm not taking any chances. No, no, no. Yes, ambulance, please. I think my husband's having a heart attack. But I'm not. OK, it... let's get you to the hospital so they can have a proper look at you. Six Coronation Street. <laughs> Nothing serious. Well, it doesn't look like you've had a heart attack. Thank God for that. What yeah. did I tell you? Everything else looks normal. Maybe he has got a heart condition. Well, then maybe we should take you in for some tests. Look, I, I, I don't think that's necessary. Well, I think it is, and so does he. No, well, I'm feeling better already, and if you say you can find nothing wrong... Well, it'd no. It'll be a waste of hospital time. And what if they say I can't fly for a week or two as a precaution? I'd miss the wedding. Her grandson's getting married in Spain. <laughs> With any potential cardiac complaint, we would strongly advise a hospital visit. Having said that, we can't force you to come in. Look, I promise I'll stay by Yasmin's side, uh, and if I'm in any doubt, she can drive me in. How's <laughs> that? OK, if you're happy. Hey, 
I work in hospital radio, by the way. I thought I recognised the voice. Jeff Metcalf. Tell me your names and I'll give you a dedication, if you like. Yeah, I'm Clark. Sandy. Yeah. Slip me a tenner and I'll make out you save me life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come on, isn't it? Yeah, I blame him, Mum. Hey, what's going on now? He's done something to her. Have you heard? Is it my grand? No, it's Jeff. I just got a message from me. Ask me. Jeff, it's a heart scare. Is he all right? Oh, he's okay now. He was in a state. I thought he was having a heart attack. Oh. Thank you for everything. Yeah, keep an eye on him. Oh, I will, don't you worry. Well, like I said, he should really come in, but if he doesn't want to, it's up to him. Yes. Well, why isn't he going in? All right, then. I'm fine. We had a bit of a panic. A bit? Yeah, but it passed. Convenient. What? Nothing. Um, you? Go and sit down. Yes, Mum. <laughs> and you come here. Are you OK? Yes, I, I'm I'm OK. It's Jeff who had the problem. Right. In that case, I need to get back. I was just rushing to Deb's for a few bits. I'll talk to you later. Weird. Mm. Suspected heart attack, but I won't go get it checked out. What's going on there? How's the kids, Jess? Yeah, they're great. I'll get to the hearing aids tomorrow, so that'll make things easier. Wonderful. Although he is going to hear you swearing now, though. You're going to have to watch your language. And how much you two like effing and jeffing. You want a uh, squirt of barbecue sauce down your tie on the house? Yeah. I take it all back. <laughs> See you, mate. What's up? Hey, I bet Gemma's pleased about those hearing aids. Yeah, I think that's why she's been really low these last few weeks, you know, worrying about him. This will book her up no end. Yeah, let's hope so. It doesn't help having Bernie round. Oh. Seems to get in the way more than she helps. I agree. She's a nightmare. <laughs> what can I do, though? Well, uh, I could uh, I could go around there after work, check she's OK, give her an hand. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't have offered, love. Might cheer her up a bit. That'd be great. Thank you. All right. And he took £200 off you? Well, he put it on my barrel, which I'll pay at the end of the month. Which is tomorrow. <sighs> well, I can't say I'm surprised. There must be rules, surely. But there are, but nobody seems to know what they are. And I think he makes it up as he goes along, like these fines. No, Frieda and I can't fathom it. Yeah, well, where do these fines go? Well, in theory, into a maintenance fund. But nobody's seen much evidence of it. They still get billed for jobs that need doing and fines and... Oh, and the service charge just keeps going up and up. But that's outrageous. He could be spending it all on himself. Difficult to prove, though. He operates under this cloak of secrecy and everybody's terrified of him. You sure you're OK? Well, seem to be. Seem to be. They'd have taken me in if they'd any doubts. We don't sound so sure. Nor am I. Maybe you should have gone in and let them look over you. I've got Yasmin to look after me. Oh, I'm sure if I take it easy in the next day or two, I'll probably be fine to go to Spain. Is that a good idea? I'll lose all my money if I cancel. I pay for it all up front online. Anyway, Yasmin's counting on me now. They're not good reasons to go. You don't want to miss your grandson's big day. No, but some things are more important. Maybe Yasmin could go on her own and you could stay with us. I am not leaving him in this condition. We're just going round in circles here. All right, then I'll put a stop to it. You're in no fit condition to go. You need me here. We cancel the trip. Well, this is crazy talk. It's common sense and we're doing it. Yeah, one coffee to take away. Oh, they say to go at the other place. Sorry? Well, instead of to take away, coffee to go. You've got to get with it, Roy. I see no harm in resisting the march of American English. It's to go American, then? I won't say get with it, Kathy. Ah, touche. <laughs> How are the quads? Well, Gemma's still up to her eyeballs. I'm going round there later, give her an hand. I'll come on if you like. Could you, Alex? That would be brilliant. The more the merrier right now, I think. I'll bring her a hot chocolate as well, if she likes it. Aha. Uh -huh. Whipped cream, marshmallows. Leave it with me. See you later. Yes, girl. 
I would like four Eccles cakes to take away, please. May I say I approve? They are becoming something of a acquired taste these days. Well, it's a taste I would like my grandchildren to acquire. Um, can you ask your son to stay away from Melina, please? I'm sorry. She went through enough last year. She doesn't need him more, Lena. I don't know what you're talking about. You know who I mean when I say Alina? Yes, of course I do. Well, David's using her to get Shona out of his system and it's just not fair. No, there must be some mistake. Uh, I'd know if there was something going on. Do you think I'd weighed in like this if I had any doubt? She's a vulnerable girl, so just... trying to back off. I'm sorry. No. How is he? He's much better, thanks. Oh, look, I know you're supposed to work the afternoon shift, but it's fine. I can do it. Thank you. Do you get my message about doing us some food? Yep. Got it right here. Uh, it does mean, though... What? Well, I can't risk him flying in this condition, so we shan't be going to the wedding. What? It's like, OK, I'll... I'll... I'll call Z and explain it to him. Well, what exactly did the doctor say? He hasn't seen a doctor, just those paramedics. <laughs> so he's not had an expert opinion? Well, not exactly, no. Well, don't you think you should get one? But Alia, Jeff's health's got to come first. My instinct is to keep him here and take care of him, and there is not an expert opinion in the world that's going to change my mind about that. Bye. Zidane's going to be devastated. It. Yeah, I'm sure of it. You don't want to go to the wedding. But what? Why wouldn't he just say that? Because he doesn't want my grand to go either. It's a bit extreme, isn't it? How are you going to prove that, though? Good question. And cast their darts. By the way, I was intrigued to learn recently that there were a couple of Romanian steam locomotives preserved in Wales. Oh, really? Yeah. But sold abroad, unfortunately, in 2016, or you could have gone to see them. What a shame. Had an unusual articulation, which enabled them to negotiate much tighter curves than normal. How interesting. Saw service originally on the Romanian Forest Railway hauling timber. Mm -hmm. I had to come all the way to England to learn about my own country. It's often the way. Anyway, I, I, I better get on. <laughs> can, I, can I have a word? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry what I said about David came as a shock. I just. I thought you should know. You could have chosen a more private moment. Well, if I'd have waited, then it could have been too late. You almost seem happy to tell me. No, I just don't want you to get hurt. If you don't mind, I need to get back to work. Wait, can I... Can I just ask you a favour? Can you can you just... Just tell Emma that there's nothing going on between us, you know, that we're just mates? I'm not sure we're mates anymore. OK, then. Can you just tell her that there's nothing going on? No, why should I? So she'll believe me when I say it. I'm starting to regret ever moving into that flat. We could always move out, couldn't oh, you? Oh, could I? Well, only if you want to, obviously. Want to what? So what's the verdict? What's the verdict? Girl just said that. No, I said what's the verdict, not a verdict. On what? The Eccles cake, of course. I still don't know what a verdict means. We got you an Eccles cake, Daddy. Not for me, thanks. Guilty conscience spoilt your appetite, has it? What? You and Alina. Eileen's just had a right go at me for it. Yeah, well, it's none of her business. Anything that kicks off within a light year from her nose and she makes it her business. Mum, nothing happened, all right? Not from the want of trying on your part, by all accounts. What's your problem? Is it how I live my life or all the fact that Eileen's on your case? My problem is what you're doing to yourself. And while you're working out what you want, I'm spending half my time looking after your kids. What's that? Do you know how close my head is to bursting? This can't go on, David. Oh, that is Slam the door. Nice. 
that's all it was, all right, talking. We're just trying to put to bed what happened yesterday. Unfortunate expression. You know what I mean, just deal with it, yeah? Sort it out. Don't look at me, I didn't ask him here. I still don't get it. What do you mean, if she wanted to? Right, well, we were just talking about her plans for the future. You were telling me to move out of the flat. No, I wasn't. Then I don't know what else you were saying. If you could perhaps take your conversation outside. I must get that. Wait, no, hang on. Why do you want her to move out? I don't. Well, why should I if there's nothing between us anymore? There's something you're not telling me. There isn't. There is, and I want the truth. That is the truth, all right? How many times do I have to say? You're right. It's a waste of time you saying anything. The way you look at her says it all. The way you act when she's around. You've got this all wrong. I don't think so. I can't do this anymore, Seth. I'm really sorry. Oh, what is he doing? Phone and wallet. <laughs> I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now what are you going to do? Do something then. Coming up, Cabinet Minister Dominic Raab is answering your questions. Plus, Dr Sarah Jarvis and consumer editor Chris Choi join our host Nina Hussain in coronavirus Q&A live next. 